So the goal for this video is pretty simple. We want to take what you learnt in say grade one maths and totally change it. Totally just throw it out and think of it in a totally different way. So just a little thing we're doing today. Consider the operation two plus three. How might you explain that to a six year old? Pause it and think about how you'd explain it. Now, if you're like most people, you might have said something like, I've got two apples and somebody gives me three apples and now I have five apples. And that's a great way to think about it, but we're not going to think about it like that. Consider two times three. How might you explain that to a five-year-old? Pause it, think about it for a second. But what you might do is say something like, I've got two rows of three apples. Therefore, I've got six apples. So we have these two nice, neat little ways to think about mathematical operations, but we do not want to think about mathematical operations like that anymore. Now, if you looked at the title of the video, you might have already guessed that the new way that we're going to think about these operations is as transformations. Let's take a look at transformation. So here we are at a classic number line. We've got the origin zero here, the numbers one, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative two, etc. And we have our starting number, the number two. Now you'll remember that our first question was two plus three, two apples plus three apples. And we're gonna think about it instead in the following way. I start with the number two, and now I'm going to transform it. I'm going to transform it by shifting it to the right by three. Okay, and you can see there we are at five. Of course, that was 2 plus 3. If I wanted to do 2 minus 3, it's another just transformation. I'm just moving it to the left by 3 units. So these aren't apples anymore. These are transformations of a single point. I'm taking a point and I'm moving it to the right or I'm moving it to the left, whichever way it happens to be. Now, of course, that's addition and subtraction. What about multiplication? What if I take, in my example, it was uh, two apples times three apples, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It should be just two times three apples. All right, what happens if I multiply by three? Let's see, I've got my starting number here at the number two. I'm going to multiply it by three. Okay, and we're multiplying by three. What's actually happened? Well, our starting number is that now three times further away from the origin as what it started. You can see here's the distance here too, but now it's one, one of those distances, two of those distances, three of those distances away from the starting point. Now, of course, if I change my starting number, I've got a distance of one to begin with, and now I have a distance of three three of those distances away. It works whatever whatever value I choose here. One distance, three distances. And of course it works in the negatives as well. You, I think you can handle this. Okay, so that's what we're thinking about now. We're not thinking about addition and multiplication in terms of apples. We're thinking about it in terms of transformations. Now we can also stack these transformations on top of each other. For instance, I've got this nice little equation here that says that my new number will be equal to three times my starting number plus some other value. So let's say I want to, first I want to multiply my starting number by two. And then I want to add three to it. What I'm doing here is stacking transformations. I'm multiplying and then I'm adding. Now I can do those in any order as long as I follow my brackets rules and things like that. I've performed two operations there. I've performed multiply by two and I've performed add three. And I've performed it on a particular number, the number two. But now I'm going to perform those operations on the whole number line or at least all of the integers. Okay, so here are all of my integer values. One, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm gonna create a whole new set of points stacked on top of those. Boop. So now those red points are sitting on top of them. And now I'm going to transform all of those points 
by let's say adding the number two to it. All right, let's go. You can see we're moving across. We've added two to it and all of those red dots have moved across. Let's add the number 2.5 to it. That way we can see it a little bit better. Okay, what's it look like? Every single point on our number line has moved 2.5 over. All right, let's move that back. So now all of our numbers are back where they started. Now what happens if I multiply by two? Well, let's multiply by two. Well, let's multiply by 1.8. Okay, what's happened here? There's an axis of uh, symmetry around here, and then the one moved over to 1.8, and the two moved to 3.6. And similarly, on the negative side, the negative 1 became negative 1.8, and this one moved all the way over to there, to negative 3.6. What we're getting is a stretching, and you can see this, these red dots stretch away, stretch away from the origin as I do that. And you can see them squash into the origin as we move towards 0, which squashes them all into the origin. So what are the key takeaways here that I want you to have? I want you to think about addition and subtraction as translations. And then multiplication is a dilation. You might be thinking, why? Why are we talking about this? A very fair question, and this is the answer. We're going to be doing matrix multiplica multiplication to perform transformations, dilations, rotations, reflections in two-dimensional space but you need to understand it in one dimensional space first. So we can use dilations to transform things. We can transform by skewing things in certain ways. We could rotate by transforming things in certain ways, and we could reflect in an axis by doing things in certain ways. You can see it reflecting in that axis. All right, so that's where we're heading, but for now, we just need to understand that in one dimensional space, adding, subtracting, multiplying, it's not apples, it's transformation.